In this quick video, I'm gonna teach you how to get super slow motion footage inside DaVinci Resolve. It's super easy to do, and I actually made this video for Premiere Pro a couple years ago, and it got tens of thousands of views, so I figured I'd remake it on how to do it in DaVinci Resolve because it was a popular video. If you're new here, we have over 200 videography-related videos, lots of content for you to learn from, and if you wanna know any of the music or the equipment we use to make our videos, all links are in the description. Let's jump in. All right, with DaVinci Resolve open, I have my clip loaded into the timeline. And right away, let's just play the clip. Now I did shoot this in slow motion, but there's a way to slow it down even more without it looking choppy. And you can do this to non-slow-mo footage as well. We'll click on our clip, go over to the inspector panel, and then go down to speed change. Let's set the speed to 20%, which is quite a lot slower. And as you can see, because we haven't adjusted it yet to be smooth, it will be choppy. So let's go ahead down into the retime scaling. And it's as simple as going into retime process, changing it to optical flow. And then under motion estimation, you want to make sure it's set to speed warp. Scaling will leave at project settings. And then the resize filter, you can experiment with this, but you can either choose, you know, sharper or smoother. For now, we'll just choose smoother. And this effect is pretty process heavy, will be difficult to play back. So we'll have to render it out and then I will show it to you. So I rendered it out. We'll just bring that back into the program, bring it down. So just to compare, let's go to the first clip again and we will set it back to project settings. So now the first clip is not using optical flow and you can see it is very choppy. And then this is what optical flow looks like after it's been rendered and brought back in, and it is much, much better. The original footage was shot at 120 frames a second, so it was already pretty slow, but we slowed it down to about 20%, and that means it's about five times slower, so this is more like 600 frames a second or around that number. It's a really, really cool way to get super slow motion footage without needing a super expensive camera. All right, that's it for this video on how to get super slow motion footage inside DaVinci Resolve. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from us in the future. We have over 200 videography related videos, so lots of content for you to learn from. And if you wanna know, again, the music or the equipment we use in our videos, all links are in the description. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.